Hi, welcome to Gooseberry Ridge Farm. Today we're going to make quail feeders. Uh, we're going to make really high, high uh, efficiency quail feeders that stop them from wasting so much food. If you've ever had quail, you know that they're a great source of meat and eggs. However, they waste a lot of food. Being a small bird, they don't eat a lot of food, but uh, when they take bites, they generally shake their heads and they'll waste about three times as much as they actually ingest. So my brother actually turned me onto these feeders. Uh, they take a, a piece of PVC, a little container that you can get at Walmart, and uh, that's it. I, I'm gonna put a little duct tape in it to hold them up a little bit tighter, but added up the price and these cost about $1.17 each to make and I'm going to show you how. It's pretty simple, just takes a little bit of labor. Um, we're going to start out with these containers. Like I said, they're a dollar each at Walmart. They come in a 10 pack. I believe it's the Mainstays brand. And they come with a lid as such. You also are going to need some PVC. I used one and a half inch PVC. That's the inside diameter. Uh, cut into approximately one inch pieces. I've got a 15, excuse me, 10 foot long piece of it here that I bought at the local hardware store. It was $15. Um, you could probably get it cheaper. Um, I bought this at a local hardware store, but you could get it at uh, you know, a big box store and probably save a couple bucks on that even. The outside di diameter of it is an inch and 15 sixteenths. And my whole saw bit that I've got is a two inch bit. Uh, so that being the case, I'm gonna have a 16th of an inch, uh, a 16th of an inch too much room inside the uh, container where I put the, uh, the uh, piece of PVC. That's why I'm gonna use PVC to wrap it up. So I've got four of them cut. I'm gonna go ahead and cut two more. And this is probably not OSHA approved, but all I do is use a circular saw, just eyeball using the one inch marker on the saw itself. And there's one, and two. Put that down, pick them up off the ground. Now I've got six of these. That's enough to do three holes on each side. And then to drill the holes, just get a piece of lumber. Ideally, you'd put a clamp or something to hold it to the table, but I'm going to live dangerously here. Just hold it down. Use your uh, drill and hole saw. Of grab as soon as it goes through. Put a little bit more to go. Okay, there's a hole. You can play with how high you like it. Um, I do them up pretty close to the top. That way, this bottom area right here is going to be your feed line. That's how much feed you're going to put into it. So you'll repeat that process. Okay, there you go. You get six holes. And if you happen to have a hole saw bit and uh, the PVC the same size, you can just stick them right in there. We made some with two inch PVC and used a two and a quarter inch bit and it fit perfectly. We didn't even need duct tape. Um, the problem with the two inch is it's a little bit too much room and the quail can still shake their head and they still waste some food. So we found that one and a half inch works better. To combat that, I do just a little over a foot of 1.8 inch 
duct tape that you get on Amazon. It's about five bucks a roll. Split it in half. And just wrap that up. Not only does it make it a little bit bigger so it fits, but as an added benefit, it also causes the causes it to not be hard plastic on hard plastic. It gives it a little softer uh, purchase to hold on to. There. It doesn't have to be in there super tight. It's, it's not going to go anywhere. If you push on it really hard, it will fall out, but generally it won't. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the other six of these. Okay, there you have it for about a dollar seventeen. We're in here with the quail now. It's a little loud, but you can see these guys currently have these old school uh, feeders. They, they like to stand on, poop in, and waste food out of. So I brought my new feeder that I just made over here. Let me put some feed in it. You'll want to fill this up pretty much to the holes. Might have overfilled this just a touch. Pop the lid on, snap it in place. This is admittedly difficult to do with one hand. And there we go, guys. I figured it out quickly. These guys have never used a feeder like this before and they are going to town. Take this one out. And that one. Seventeen dollar twenty quail feeder in action. It's about a dollar for the container. Um, I figured the price on the PVC to, to be about thirteen cents an inch. And then the duct tape is probably about four cents in it, uh, a foot once you back into it. So little, those are all rounded up numbers. So for a buck twenty easy, you can have a nice little quail feeder that will be very little waste. Thanks and like and subscribe and tell your friends. Bye.